What we need is more transparency. We need to know where the money has gone to and what is being used for. You know, as you know, the first um, uh, supplementary budget that was given to us uh, to deal with, we are told that some of it were palliatives for the people. And up to now, I'm still waiting to feel the impact of that palliative. I don't know how many people have received it, but we are waiting. So, as I said from the beginning, what matters really is how this translates to the well-being of the people. It's not about the figures. The figures mean nothing. The cost of living is high currently. People are crying. People are, are lamenting. So we need to have a government that is responsive, that deals with those things that will make life. We have never had it so good in the budget presentation where the capital expenditure has been risen to about $8 trillion. And uh, you can see the deficit and debt servicing. Though the deficit have increased, but the debt servicing have reduced. And we are also looking at the position of making the dollar about 750 instead of 700, which means we are going to get more revenue from that. And also the crude oil price, you can see it has been uh, increased based on international pricing to, to from 73 to about $75, which is good. Also revenue will be generated there. So in, in, in a nutshell, you can see that uh, the budget is quite different from the previous budget, budgets that we have had where debt servicing is more more than what the capital expenditure should be. Now the capital expenditure has been risen to about $8 trillion, which is unprecedented. So I believe that this budget is a budget that will candle and renew hope of Nigerians. It's, it's wonderful from what he had read out. Well, however, we're going to sit down and deliberate and look at the, at the budget as it contains in there. So it is only then we'll be able to say exactly. But what he said, uh, in a nutshell, is for humanity. He's taking care of uh, what people are going through. He's aware that people are going through a lot, and he's really zero in on that. And I think that is wonderful. Where we are coming from, it looks promising and um, to some extent fulfilling if everything, all the I's will be uh, dotted and all and the T's be crossed. But for me, we should go beyond this. Uh, Nigeria has all the potentials to go for a budget of 30, 50 trillion naira uh, because that will, will pose much more challenge to us. If all uh, um, um, loopholes will be, will, be, will be covered and um, uh, revenues will, will be generated as much in, 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 at par with, with the capacity and the endowment Nigeria has, uh, which is possible. But for now, it is, um, uh, the figure is okay and um, the dreams look uh, realizable when and if we all do all, what we all need to do. Okay, in the approach to uh, debt servicing, was there anything different this time? There is, quite, there is quite a lot of things different because the debt servicing we are trying to do is that uh, we are going to increase the taxation, we are going to look at GOEs that are not performing and then we see how we can commercialize them or privatize them. And there, the government will make more money and there will be efficiency. And most of the leakages that we're having, you can see the customs now are trying to modernize. There is this e-custom platform that they are going to work. And taxation, taxes will be collected centrally. So if we do that, I think uh, a lot of loopholes where it has become uh, a pipe drain for, for, for abuse will be, will be blocked. So I believe this is the best time that uh, Nigerians should be hopeful. I know Bola has been a very nice person. He's a woman friendly and I know he's not going to do anything that would not involve women. You look at the appointment that he has made. So I'm very sure uh, that he would capture women in there. And even if he doesn't, we're going to complain. Uh -huh. So the security, education and some of the priorities, are they right? Of course. You see, the first thing he talked about that I, I really like is about education. If you are enlightened, nobody will deceive you. So education is very, very essential. Thank you. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Thank you.